Hello everyone, my name is Chit. I am an executive director of Sansom Luprai Organization. It's the a local NGO working with the uh, farmer living in and around protected area to improve their livelihood and link them to conservation activity. Uh, the reason why we interested to uh, work with the uh, SRP, we have been working uh, uh, in SRP project five years with the UCS and other partner. And we think that it's important to uh, SRP can help to improve farmer livelihood through uh, improving the economic and have uh, uh, conserve the environment and also uh, bring the next a uh, positive impact on the, the uh, society as well. Hello everyone, today I'm going to present about uh, how we engage farmer in adoption of sustainable, sustainable rice cultivation and sustainable rice supply chain. So we will go through this uh, outline uh, of my pre presentation. So first we will introduce about the sustainable rice platform project implementation by SMP and the UCS in Cambodia. Second, we are going to uh, show you about uh, how we engage farmer to adopt SRP and then the uh, uh, participate in sustain sustainable rice supply chain. Third, we compare the conventional and sustainable rice supply chain in this Cambodia context. The fourth, we will talk about the benefit of SRP implementation or, adopt, or adopt, adoption on uh, uh, as, uh, adoption of SRP, a benefit to the social, economic, and uh, environment. So first we will uh, introduce about the SRP project that implemented by SMP and the UCS in Cambodia. So this is location where we do the first pilot uh, of Sustain Rice platform in Cambodia. It's located in the central of Cambodia uh, in the district we call Stone. That is uh, located in the Kompung Thom province. And the area where we work is uh, around the Bengal conservation area. And the objective of this project implementation, uh, first we want to uh, improve the sustainable rice farming system around the conservation area because we see that uh, the new uh, rice farming system we call irrigated rice, resort period rice is expand rapidly and the uh, this expansion is really threatened the uh, conservation area and uh, a, 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 a critical endangered species that called Bengal Forican. And second, we want to improve the farmer livelihood living around the conservation area to help them have better uh, 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 income from uh, rice farming. And third, about we collect the baseline data for SRP standard and evaluate the uh, SRP standard. And fourth, we in engage local community to support a wildlife conservation activity through this project. And fifth, we create a sustainable uh, non-breeding habitat for forican. So we will go to the detail about the result of the uh, of our project implementation. So in this project framework, SMP is the local NGO that be working uh, with the farmer living in or around the protected area to help them to improve their livelihood and connect them with con to the conservation activity. So SMP in this project, we promote uh, SRP and provide training to farmer and we also integrate the women economic, uh, uh, women economic empowerment in the supply chain we introduce the climate smart agricultural practices to farmer, and we also provide also feedback to the uh, SOP secretary for the new standard revision, and we engage local community to support wildlife conservation society. SMP we work with the UCS closely. Uh, that the UCS uh, they have the engage or establish the community protected area of the. Uh, 
in in the Bank of Foreign Conservation Society and the UCS also working to uh, 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 conserve and monitor the wildlife in the region. We got support from the critical ecosystem uh, partnership fund, Oxfam and IFAD to implement this uh, 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 project. And we got the technical support of SLP standard from SLP secretary. And all the rice that our farmer produced, we connect it to the preco is our domestic miller, we can sell it domestic uptaker and process over paddy and sell to, uh, meal rice to mass food. Mass food is our international uh, 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 rice uptaker and they support SMP with the, to implement the uh, performance management system in the SOP standard as well. So we bring the outcome that uh, we uh, the outcome that bring for SMP uh, is a better farmer income. Farmer have the currency market. Uh, the rice farming are in around the protected area is uh, more sustainable, and uh, the in, we also contribute with the wildlife conservation, uh, climate smart farming, and women is uh, actually participate in the rice supply chain. So about SLP. So SLP is the, so just let you know what is SLP and uh, why we implement this uh, uh, standard and we can connect this uh, standard with the conservation activity. So SLP is the global uh, standard Is a global standard which have a multi-stakeholder alliance launched in 2011 and led by UN Environment, uh, International Rice Research Institute, and GIZ. And there are over a hundred uh, 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 member, including private sector, uh, researcher, financial institution, NGO. And SOP is, is, uh, pro, is uh, SOP promote the resource use efficiency and climate change resilient in rice system. And SOP goal is to minimize the environmental impact of rice production and consumption while enhancing uh, smallholder income and contribute to, to com contributing to uh, food uh, security. So in SOP standard, we have uh, eight scheme. First about the uh, uh, farm management. Second, about replanting. Third, water use and nutrient management, integrated pest management, harvest and post harvest, health and safety, labor rights. So under eight scheme, we have uh, four, 41, a requirement that uh, a farmer uh, need to follow on uh, this requirement to get a good score, to get a high score. So, this slide we will discuss about uh, how we engage farmer to adapt SOP and uh, uh, help them to participate in the sustainable rice supply chain. So the way we engage farmer, we start to promote this uh, standard, SOP standard at the provincial, commune and village level. We establish a group of SOP producer. We select the key farmer. It's really important that uh, every group rice producer have a key farmer. So we have the person that, a key person that we can transfer the, the knowledge from the uh, our uh, extend, agriculture extends with worker to their member and then facilitate among their group. And we also do the facilitate raising awareness from of SOP standard within the 
a group through key farmer as well. So we train key, key farmer to un well understand about the ISOP standard, and then key farmer they uh, they need to provide this training to their member. But we we SMP still uh, support with the uh, facilitate during the training to make sure that the uh, key farmer have ability to uh, provide training to their member. And we, uh, to comply with the performance management system of uh, SRP, we uh, provide a training on farmer that record to farmer. So to let farmer able to record all the information, all the input, all the activity in rice production into the farmer diary. So we can monitor and we can, and then we can evaluate the SOPC and that score of farmer. And then we try to build the trust with the local community, with uh, 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 another stakeholder within value rice value chain, especially we connect farmer to the uh, domestic miller, uh, we connect farmer to the input supplier. So we're building trust along uh, the value chain. And so we support, we also support SRP farmer with the good quality seed. So at the beginning, we found that uh, the constraint that farmer could not get the better price of uh, paddy because of uh, the quality of the paddy. So we change the, 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 the current seed they are using and we provide the good quality of seed. And it's, uh, it's uh, OP, OP, uh, OP seed for, to the farmer. So they can access to market and with a better price and also uh, a better yield when they, then they, they get a good seed as well. We support farmer with the climate resilient technique, uh, like we have the cover crop rotation, we have the uh, land leveling, we have a uh, water water harvesting technique to uh, build the capacity of farmer uh, uh, more resilient to the uh, climate change, and also we also engage women uh, in rice supply chain as well. Like uh, we engage women or we support them to be uh, uh, a leader in the group, to be uh, uh, actually participate in the rice supply chain. And we also uh, do testing on the uh, type of cover crop, which is be benefit for the uh, Bang Bengal uh, uh, forican or uh, non breeding habitat and um, improve soil quality as well. So the first year we start to implement the project, uh, SOP projects in uh, 2016 under support of a critical ecosystem and partnership fund, uh, first pilot in Cambodia. And uh, at the beginning, there's only uh, 140 farmer they 42 farmer they join, and then the number increased uh, rapidly to uh, nearly 500 in 2019. And the well the volume of a uh, paddy we procure from farmer to the to the millers is rapid increase. So it's 100 uh, uh, it rapidly increased. So. Uh, in 2000, at the beginning, we got around just uh, 33 ton, but uh, in 2019, we got 1,600 metric ton. So this uh, result that the uh, uh, human uh, SOP project. And we do assessment uh, every year. And for 2019, Nearly half of the uh, in uh, a farmer they they got the score from uh, sixty to sixty nine. So for SRP, uh, 
uh, if the score farmer just getting from 33 to 90, we can claim that farmer is work, are working tower to sustainable rice production. But if they, if they achieve over 90, it means sustainable rice or farmer sustainably cultivate rice. And in 2019, we have not yet a, a farmer that they achieve over 90, but uh, we can see around 15% they start to get uh, between 80 to 90 and uh, uh, around 5% they get from 50 to 59. So this just talk about the uh, we, we can compare just compare about the uh, uh, conventional and sustainable rice supply chain in Cambodia context. So before we implement the project, the rice supply chain is uh, like that. So there are many actors involved, and we can uh, identify some challenge such uh, rice producer is lack of power to negotiate with the private sector because they are smallholder farmer and traceability and transparency and transparency were not adequately in illustrated and major of uh, petty went to the border directly for export without processing so mostly people just uh, uh, sold uh, petty snot meal rice and we can see also the capacity of rice producer to adapt climate change is weak it's not uh, enough to respond to uh, current of uh, climate change impact and less participate by women in rice supply chain and biodiversity conservation and maintaining ecosystems we was not taken into account. So nobody really care about the uh, biodiversity conservation or uh, improve or maintain the ecosystem service. Uh, and then this the uh, sustainable rice supply chain which we are trying to engage all stakeholder and farmer to participate so a farmer organization is formed right now and uh, strengthen their capacity so farmer they have uh, a better power power to negotiate with private sector involvement of government in facility of contract farming development and development partnership so we also initiate the uh, uh, contract farming between the farmer organization and directly with the uh, domestic miller or processor. And we build capacity of rice producer to adapt to climate change with the climate smart practices that I have mentioned above. And we also provide the uh, advice how to use the agriculture input efficiently and safely and uh, water through the adop adoption of SOP standard. Trust along the value chain, we uh, will, build, will build among the stakeholder along the rice value chain. We also engage private sector to, uh, private sector to participate responsibly a responsible business platform with our partner. So we empower women to participate actively in rice supply chain mm -hmm. and we engage farmer to support wildlife conservation. So in the contract farming, we put the uh, conservation agreement uh, as well. So all the SOP farmer join our project, they commit to uh, not do any any illegal activities such uh, 
consuming or hunting the wildlife or they clear the uh, forest is uh, is prohibited. So if we found that, we will not uh, buy the ID. So we can see the benefit of the SOP implementation on the social, economic, and environment. So we, for the short impact of the project, we can see that farmer increased income by uh, use efficiently uh, input uh, implement the climate smart agriculture practices and better private currency uh, market. Farmer organization is empowered and engaged to work with private sector. So it's the short impact of the project. And farmer participating SOP project are engaged in wildlife conservation and maintain ecosystem services. Women actually participate in farmer organization and the whole rice supply chain. So we can see that the increasing of women participate in, in the supply chain now is increased. So for the long term impact, so as the Bank of Oregon conservation uh, area is a down, down part of uh, uh, nearly uh, uh, in the uh, Tunlesa bios, Biosphere Reserve. Uh, so in the rainy season, uh, Forican will migrate on the upper part where the farmer they planting rice. So when farmer they uh, follow the SOP standard, they reduce the pesticide use or chemical in, uh, use and we have the conservation agree agreement with the farmer so uh, the forican they have uh, more set, like they have a safe zone for uh, for them uh, during a wet season and the livelihood of farmer living around the forican conservation area will be improved through uh, 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 have mentioned about increasing the price, increasing yield, and uh, for long term we can see that the rice production around the uh, conservation area will be more sustainable, and we also participate in reduce the impact of rice production on the ecosystem as well. Here's a result that we do the comparison uh, between control group and the project group. So control group has been the group of farmer not participated in the SLP project. For the project farmer that uh, actively participate in uh, SLP project. So we can see that the total cost of the project group is increased. But we can see also the total net income also uh, 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 very uh, increased rapidly as well. If you, if you compare, uh, the project group is better than the control group. And thank you very much for your attention and thank you for the uh, supporting organization and donor, we have a, a critical ecosystem partnership fund which support us since the beginning of the project, or pilot project, Oxfam and IFAD. They provide both fund and technical support on the uh, women economic empowerment. And thank you, Mass Food is our international uh, uptaker. Pico is our in uh, domestic processor and thank you WCS in the collaboration with the, us in the conservation, the technical conservation. And thank you for the SOP uh, secretary which uh, uh, support us with the technical support with SOP standard. Thank you.